Rangers taking on the A's. Derek Holland getting the start for Texas, going for his ninth win of the season. Top of the second, Texas up 1-0. Nelson Cruz steps in to lead off the inning against A.J. Griffin. 0-1 pitch. That ball's hit well to left field. Says, but it stops. He's looking up. Goodbye. Nelson Cruz, home run number 27. And the Rangers lead 2-0. Some early run support for Holland, who was going strong in the third. He strikes out Derek Norris looking. Then he gets Coco Crisp swinging for out number two. And then he gets some help from his defense, Jed Lowry, with a grounder to short. Elvis Andrews, the backhand jump throw over to first in time to end the inning. Take another look. Shades of Derek Jeter for Andrews. Fantastic play to end the frame. Top of the seventh, Mitch Moreland looks to increase the Texas lead with a man on against Griffin. Ball in a drive, deep to right field, there it goes, goodbye. Mitch Bullen, a rocket out of here, over the out of town scoreboard, the Rangers lead four to nothing. 16th of the year for Moreland, that would chase Griffin from the game. Holland still in for Texas in the bottom of the seventh. He strikes out Yoannis Cespedes looking. Then later in the inning with runners on first and second, he strikes out Josh Reddick to end the frame. Holland feeling it, heading into the eighth. Still looking sharp, he strikes out Derek Norris. And then with a the runner on first, Lowry grounds into the 6-4-3 double play. That ends the inning and ends Holland's outing. He goes eight, allowing four hits, no runs, and matches a season high with 10 strikeouts. Rangers go on to win four to nothing. With the victory, Ron Washington becomes the winningest manager in Rangers history with 582 wins. He passes Bobby Valentine. Elvis Andrews goes 0 for 4, snapping his 16-game hitting streak.